So we're now going to look at producing a calibration certificate against our tool. So select tools. We're going to highlight the tool and we're going to add this to our jobs list. From here we can either have conformance or calibration. In this case calibration is selected. We're going to take a tool and calibrate it in the as found clockwise direction and we're going to press play. We're now in the calibration screen and as you can see we have all the parameters to produce a calibration certificate in accordance with the standard. So we have calibration, reproducibility of the torque tool, output drive of the torque tool, output through calibration system interface or the length of force of the loading point. Again, each of these are linked via the index to the relevant section within the standard. We're going to perform our calibration in the first instance. Press play. The TWC will now talk you through the process. We're going to preload the torque wrench to full scale, in this case 100 Newton meters, and press ready. So we're taking our wrench, we're going to unlock and wind the wrench round to its full scale, in this case 100 Newton meters. We now take the wrench to the TWC, sliding it through the safety loop, engaging with the torque transducer and its adapter. What we now need to do is ensure the loading point is centered. So we unlock the TWC, and we slide in the appropriate direction until the teardrop on the reaction arm is aligned with the loading point, in this case, the star on the handle. And next we lock off, we're now checking that the wrench is actually floating. We may need to add or remove masses from the reaction in order to achieve this. We close our safety cover. The TWC will take the torque wrench to full scale and it will do this three times. Once complete, the TWC will ask you to make a zero check. This will involve removing the tool. We're now moving on to stage one. To set the tool, unlock the torque wrench. Turn the handle back so the display clearly indicates 20 Newton meters. and lock. We can now press ready. The TWC will now start stepping through those first five readings at the 20% value. For the purpose of this video, we've sped up some of the sections. The TWC takes us on to stage two, where we set the tool to 60 Newton meters. We unlock our wrench, we adjust the wrench to 60 Newton meters. We press ready. And once again, the TWC is going to take you through those five steps at the 60% value. Upon completion, we move to stage three, where we set the tool to 100 Newton meters. And again, we're unlocking, we're adjusting our wrench to the 100 Newton meter value. We're going to press ready. And the TWC will now commence the five steps at the 100% value. In this case, 100 Newton meters. Upon completion, we return to this menu where we can continue we can retry the last, or we can cancel this task. We're going to continue. From this screen, 
We can use these buttons to back off the talk tool if required. If not, return, and it will take us back to our workflow screen. From this screen, we can see that the calibration, section 4.2 or index 4.2, is now complete or acquired. We can now move on to the next step within the calibration process. To do this, we're going to select reproducibility of the talk tool. Press play. We're going to set our torque tool to 100 newton meters and perform a preload. The TWC will now start to take preloads. Again on screen we can see the preloads being taken with the results being clearly displayed. The TWC is now going to ask us to set the tool to its lowest reading, in this case 20 newton meters. Remove our torque tool, unlock and wind the tool back to the 20 newton meter value. Put the torque wrench back onto the rig. Close the safety cover. And press ready. The reproducibility test will now commence. We are now taking our 20th reading to complete the reproducibility data. At this point we can continue to the next step. We could retry the last, for example we may have made a mistake or we might have had a disturbance during that uh, test run, or we can cancel the task and move on to a different tool. We're going to continue. Again we come to a screen, should we need to back off we can use these buttons to do that. We're going to come back. And you'll note the reproducibility of the talk tool is now being marked as acquired. We're now going to select the output drive of the talk tool. Press play. And again, the TWC is going to take us through this process. We're going to preload the tool at 20 newton meters. And again, with the tool set to 20 newton meters, we're going to press ready. The TWC is now going to take you through the first of five preloads. Okay, so at completion, the TWC is going to ask you to remove the torque wrench and rotate the drive by 90 degrees. In this case, 90 degrees is selected as it's a square drive. So we remove our wrench, we turn through 90, and we return our wrench. and press ready. As the TWC approaches the end of this run, you'll be asked to remove the torque tool and turn the ratchet through 90 degrees. Press ready. We're now coming to the end of collecting data for the output drive of the torque tool and from here we can continue on to the next step. We can now see that we've completed the calibration, the reproducibility of the torque tool and the output drive of the torque tool. We're now going to move on to the output calibration system interface. This is the adapter between the transducer and the torque tool if one is fitted. Press play. Following the on-screen instructions, we're going to perform a preload at 20 newton meters. With the tool set to 20 newton meters, press ready. The TWC will now take you through the five preloads prior to performing the output interface test. Upon completion of the preloads, we would be asked to perform a zero check. Remove our torque wrench from the TWC. Press tool removed the TWC will zero. We're now ready to start stage one. 
This entails removing the torque wrench, removing the interface adapter and turning this through 90 degrees. Remove the interface adapter and we're going to turn through 90 degrees. Reinstall our torque wrench, close the cover and we can now press ready. The TWC is now going to take us through the output drive interface test. After collecting 10 sets of data, we're going to be asked to once again remove the torque wrench and turn the drive adapter through 90 degrees. So we're now coming to the end of the output drive system interface test. Once again, we come to the screen which is asking us to continue, to retry the last or cancel that task. We're going to continue. We can now wind back the tool if we need to, but we're gonna move back, come back to the workflow screen. And you can now clearly see that we've completed all of our tasks with the exception of the length of force loading point. We press play. TWC is now going to ask us for the type of loading point we've got. On this particular tool, we have got the loading point indicated on the tool itself. Again, we're going to be doing a preload at 20 Newton meters. TWC is now asking us to move the reaction plus 10 millimeters. To do this, unlock the reaction, slide the reaction on its rails back 10 millimeters. The TWC reaction is designed to indicate to us plus or minus 10 millimeters by means of a laser cut slot. Once you've moved this into position, lock off the reaction. We can now press ready the TWC will once again start taking you automatically through the 10 points of measure that are required to collect this data. Once the TWC has collected the 10 sets of data, you will be asked to reduce the reaction point by 10 millimeters. Again, you will need to unlock the reaction itself and slide forward the reaction by 10 millimeters. and lock off. Press ready. We're coming to the end now of this part of the test. And once again, we see the finished screen. We're going to continue. We can now see that all of the data has been collected. Our job is complete and we can generate our certificate or generate our documents. We now have a choice of printing the documentation now or at a later date. We can now review the certification. And by pressing back, we go back to the home screen. The recommended way of shutting down the TWC is to hit the power down button, accept, and the TWC will safely shut itself down.